Hey, what is up guys, Blader 95 here, and today I have come to review the Hybrid Cannon. Now, this is a synchro weapon combination of two synchro weapons, the Tactical Shot and the Beat Launcher. Right now, it is the Beat Launcher, and this makes it the Tactical Shot. And this makes it the hybrid cannon. I, I, it's a long story. Um, essentially, this is the rapid fire variation. IX will IX reviewed it pretty well. There's no real need for me to review the beat launcher as is. But for those of you who wanted to see what it looks like in this coloration, there you go. To create the tactical shot, all you have to do is simply remove the barrel. Or I guess a little ending. There's no real barrel here. And the magazine, or the weapon magazine in this point, as it's not compatible with a normal beatamon. And now you add the weapons barrel onto it. Like such. Now to make this the tactical shot, there is no magazine on it. It's just one Bidama at a time. And that's all you really get. Now, this cannon is kind of sneaky. And the reason I say that, you can see the mounting mechanism here. If you saw the let's build, there's a hole here and a hole there. And what that's meant to do is... can angle the shots. Now, I didn't just break it, it's in the construction manual. Um, essentially... I can make the Bidama go wherever I want. It's a nice little gimmick. I mean, I don't know how often I'm going to use it and how effective it really is going to be. I prefer to keep it as a straight shot, but I suppose I could see scenarios where this needs to be at an angle. To make it into <clears throat> the hybrid cannon, all you simply do is attach the Beat Launcher's magazine. That was it. That was the whole combining experience. So exciting. To mount the hybrid cannon, all you need is a Synchro Weapon System Beatamon. This means Justice Ifrit, Assault Taurus, Blitz, I'm sorry, Mock Garuda, you know, Shining Wyvern, or Shining Pegasus. Reflect Wyvern, you get the idea. Alright, if it has that little trigger nub right there, it's a synchro weapon system. Now, to combine it, you put it at a 90 degree angle, and just push it into the arm parts, and then slowly slide it into the synchro trigger. Now when I pull, it fires from both angles. The fun. Now, to kind of try a little demo, this does hold four Bidama, as I've said, so we'll give it four shots. And three, two, one, B crash. I'm gonna turn it to the right now. And that does nothing. To the left. And the same result. So, that's not very gimmicky. Now, for those of you who remember my review of Shriek... Ah, I can't talk today, guys. You remember my review of Shade Wyvern and Rave Pegasus. You remember that in order to dual-wield them, there's little bolts on the arms. Well, the Synchro Weapon System takes that to the extreme. Literally. To dual wield in the synchro weapon system, all you need is this. You need a beat launcher, a tactical shot, or a mega grenade. So, once again, you get your trusty cannon and lock it in. Now, this is where the second trigger would go. Like I said, mine has broken and I'm getting a new one soon. Then you get your other beat em on, Wink Wink Justice Ifrit, and you're just gonna lock those two together as well. And now, to load it up, we're just gonna have so much freaking fun here in a sec. We're gonna go 
fire this monstrosity. So... So, here we are. 9 B Dama, 5 B Dama. 3, 2, 1, B Crash. I enjoy this so much, it's actually kinda scary. So, please make sure you guys that you like, comment, and subscribe. Justice Ifrit will be on Friday, and Speed of Blade 95, logging off.